Today on Sugar Spun Run, we'll be making strawberry cookies. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I have another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe to share. We are making strawberry cookies with an intense, bright strawberry flavor. I think you're going to love it, so let's go ahead and get started. Now before we begin, you will want to get your oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now to flavor these cookies naturally, I am going to be using freeze-dried strawberries. I found that these work the best to get a really, really potent strawberry flavor. It's also the easiest way to make these cookies as opposed to fresh strawberries, which make things a lot more complicated. I have two and a half cups of freeze-dried strawberries here, which is just a little bit over one and a half ounces. I am going to need to pulverize these into very, very fine powder. So you could do this in a food processor. I'm just going to use my little mini food processor here. Blitzes them up nicely, but I will have to do it in two batches. This thing is great and so handy. I use it in so many recipes. I will link to it in the recipe card in case you're interested. It's a fun little multi-tool. You can see this is actually a very, very fine powder. That's exactly what we want to drop this into a bowl and then we'll process the rest of it. All right, we'll add this to our bowl. However, not all of it is going to go into the cookies. Here I have a fourth cup of granulated sugar, which I have measured out to roll the cookies through before I bake them. I'm just going to measure out a tablespoon of this strawberry powder, add it in with the sugar, and we'll set that aside because we'll need it a bit later on in the recipe. All right, we'll need this in a moment, but first we're going to grab a large mixing bowl, and to this we'll add one cup of softened unsalted butter, Oops. and a cup of granulated sugar, and we are going to cream these ingredients together. Now you could do this with a stand mixer if you'd like, but today I am going to just be using my electric hand mixer. All right, once the butter and sugar are well creamed, we will add our strawberry powder. Drop all of that in there. And we'll stir this in as well. Go on low speed first so you don't send strawberry powder flying because it's not fun to inhale that. Okay, so right now you might be thinking, oh, these, this batter looks great. It's such a beautiful pink color that's going to look just lovely once it's baked. I want to tell you up front that you're not going to get a really beautiful pink color unless you add artificial food coloring. You do not have to, totally a personal choice, but if you don't add food coloring, your cookie is going to end up a very natural looking color. Make sure you guys get a good look at that color. Again, it's not terrible. The cookie's still going to taste delicious, but if you're looking for a bright pink, you're going to want to add some food coloring. I'm going to to add some here. I'm just using electric pink because it's what I have on hand. Soft pink color would also work nicely. And I'm just going to add a couple drops because I do want a vibrant pink color. I'm very particular about when I choose to use food coloring or not. So again, it's a personal preference. Oftentimes if I'm making these and want to give them to my kids, I'll leave the food coloring out. So do whatever works best for you and the occasion that you're making these for. I'll stir this in now. And if I'm still not happy with the color after I've added the flour, I may add a little bit more. Now I'm going to stir in one large egg. We'll mix this in until it's combined. And we'll set this aside and grab a separate mixing bowl for our dry ingredients. We'll start with all purpose flour. This is one and three fourths cup. Next, we'll add three fourths teaspoon of table salt and just a half teaspoon of baking soda. Whisk these together until they're nicely combined. And we'll gradually add these to our strawberry mixture and stir until it's completely combined. You may notice I don't add vanilla extract to this cookie recipe. You can if you would like to, but personally I found it took away from the bright fresh strawberry flavor, so I opt not to. Last bit of flour. Okay, we grab a spatula and let's scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl. Just wanna make sure there's no lingering pockets of flour hiding in here anywhere. And I am pretty pleased with the color of this dough, so I'm not going to add any more food coloring. All right, so we can just about begin scooping our cookie dough. So I grabbed a baking sheet here. I also have one last order of business to attend to, and that is our sugar. If you recall, we have one fourth cup of granulated sugar here with our one tablespoon of freeze dried strawberries. We're just going to whisk these together. What in the world happened to my whisk? Hmm. I guess that got some abuse in my utensil drawer. 
And this just adds that final layer of strawberry flavor to the cookies. I am going to be using my one and a half tablespoon cookie scoop. Drop that into my hand. I'm doing level scoops. I roll it into a ball, roll it through the sugar. And we'll space the cookies at least two inches apart because they will spread in the oven. Now we'll take these over to our preheated oven where they're going to need to bake for about 11 minutes. So once the cookies have finished baking, you're going to either let them cool completely on the baking sheet or let them cool for several minutes before transferring to a wire rack to cool completely. And that is how you make these fun strawberry cookies. I really hope you enjoyed today's recipe. And if you try this one, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. All right, I had Luke show up for this. So Luke, you are going to hold the one without food coloring. Hi. You ready? Let's taste test them. What do you think? Good. You like it? Can you see my Celsius? Yeah. I was worried about that happening. Mm -hmm. What's it taste like? Um, brown sugar. Does it taste like strawberry? Mm -mm. <laughs> Try a bite of mine. It tastes like strawberry. That's interesting. The food coloring makes a difference in terms of flavor. Mentally. Is there a small child eating a banana behind me?